welcome to 3 Minute Pro. This is the Canon EOS 600. It's an autofocus 35mm SLR which was introduced in 1989. This control on the left of the top plate operates the camera. L is for lock, green is for go, that's auto exposure and autofocus, and setting it to A allows you to change the different settings. Pressing the mode button allows you to use the command dial to set the exposure modes. You've got manual, program, shutter priority, aperture priority and depth priority. This button allows you to set exposure compensation. Pressing both buttons at the same time allows you to set the number of multiple exposures you want on the same frame. There you can have one, two, three, four and so on. Pulling down this door on the back of the camera allows you access to other functions. This one's for rewind, this is for the focus mode, so you can have one shot or servo where the focus will follow the subject. This one sets the film wind mode, so you can have single, continuous or self timer. This one is your battery check. Pressing these two at the same time allows you to set the ISO. And pressing these two at the same time allows you to set auto exposure bracketing. Pressing these two at the same time allow you to access the custom functions and set those. These buttons are quite fiddly, especially if you've got fat fingers like me. There are three buttons on this side of the camera. This is the lens release button, and you can see this is the Canon EOS mount. You can use most of your Canon lenses from your digital cameras on the EOS 600. This is the depth of field preview, so if you've set quite a small aperture and say aperture priority, and you're down to perhaps at f22, by pressing this, you can see the close down aperture through the viewfinder. This button here is for manual exposure, so when you set it to manual, you use the command dial here for setting the shutter speed, and then you press this button and use the command dial to set the aperture. Loading film is quick and easy. You've got a button here and a catch here. You press both at the same time, like that, it opens the camera back. You pop the film in, like that, and pull the film leader down to the orange mark. Now you just close the back and it winds onto the first frame. In continuous mode, the camera will go at five frames per second. The battery compartment is here. That comes off you need a 2CR5 battery for the camera. The EOS 600 is a solid advanced camera from Canon with most of the functionality that you would need. It can take lenses from your Canon DSLRs but only the EF lenses, not the EFS. It has a metal shutter which is electronically timed so it'll stay accurate over the years. I'd recommend this camera if you have a lot of Canon lenses and you want to try using film. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.